So let's talk about what a knee replacement is. Okay, the anatomy of the knee, if we look at these models, is pretty simple. We can move the kneecap out of the way, and then we've got the hard cartilage that caps the bone. We've got the meniscus right here. We've got the ACL and the PCL. Then the knee is also composed of the ligaments on the side, the medial and lateral collateral ligaments. A lot of people think when we do a knee replacement, we come, we cut the bone here, we cut the bone here, and just throw everything away and replace it. But that's not really the case. Is what we do is we come in and we resurface the bones that are there. Okay, we try and preserve as much of what we can. This would be a prime example. When we come in and we replace a knee, we move the kneecap to the side, and then we size up your knee. We measure it, and then it's kind of like wood shop. We bring in jigs that help us then recreate and shave away the crummy cartilage that's left on there so that we can cement on the replacement. We cement it with polymethyl methacolate, which is a bone cement. And it's like a Corian countertop is, I guess, how it looks. Once it dries, it is rock solid and as hard as it's going to be. And it takes about 10 minutes. So we cut away the, the crummy stuff that's worn out. We put on a new piece of cobalt chrome. And that becomes the new end of your femur or your thigh bone. We then shift and bring this tibia or shin bone forward. And we make a flat cut across the top of that uh, shin bone. There we have the good marrow bone, the cancellous bone, and we pound in a piece of titanium that has a keel on it, kind of like the keel of a ship. And then we have different thicknesses of the plastic. So we can put that in. We want that knee to have just a little bit of toggle, a little bit of play. So maybe it makes a little bit of noise when you walk, but we don't want it to be sloppy loose. Okay, that's how we have a good successful knee replacement. We keep your ligaments holding this all together. We then have the kneecap. We replace the back side of the kneecap. So everything that's going to rub against that metal is nice surface against nice surface. And then we flip your kneecap back back up and that becomes your new knee. Now how does that differ from a half knee replacement? A half knee replacement is when someone is only worn on the medial side or the inside of their knee, okay? But they have good cartilage behind their kneecap and they have good cartilage on the lateral side. And that corresponds to someone who's been a little bit more bow-legged, who's just worn on the inside. So if that tire has been out of alignment, it may only wear down on the inside tread and still have good tread left on the outside. When we do that, we, we don't want to replace the whole knee. We just want to replace the one section that is worn. And that's what the half knee replacement does. So you can see the difference between a half knee and a full knee on what they do. A lot less metal. We could preserve a lot more of your own components here. The way that that is successful and why I think that that's so much more successful than a full knee is that it moves with your ligaments. It moves the way your knee has always moved. And that is the contact point here on the medial side shifts forward when you straighten and then when you bend it rolls back. So it moves forward with you and rolls back as a total knee kind of more dictates where you're where you're going to roll this tends to feel more like your own knee okay a little bit easier to get back to tennis and some more active sports like that I like to tell people I think the recovery time with a half knee is about half of what it is for a full knee so you still have the recovery time you're still slow getting up but it's about half the amount of time the amount of time until you get rid of those last little aches and pains I think is still about a year. I think it takes about a year before those soft tissues that roll over that metal really get mature and no longer give you that little ache, okay, that little soreness. It can take a full year for that to disappear. There's also computer-aided uh, surgery and there are two varieties of that. There are varieties where we can use a computer during the surgery to help us guide and make correct cuts. Um, Recent studies have shown that that has not made a big difference in longevity or the success of the knee replacement in terms of how long it lasts. I have used that several times. Um, I think it has a role, but I use it rarely, especially based on these more recent studies. There's another type of knee, which is called the uh, custom fit knee, or these are called the signature knees made by Myomet, one of the different companies. 
And is what they do is through a CAT scan or an MRI scan, they make a model of your knee. This would be the top of the shin bone. This would be the femur or the thigh bone here. They generate these little models and then they can also generate custom cutting blocks which you fit onto the knee in surgery. Helps you drill the guide posts and the holes right where you want them to bring in the jig and give you the exact cut. There are pros and cons of using these as well. In theory it sounds absolutely perfect and we should use them every time. Um, I think that they have a role in very difficult knees. Someone who has a knee of an odd shape um, or a lot of deformity, then I think those do very well and they make a, a, a difference. Some of the other things to talk about, uh, some people say, well, I, I need a female knee, or I need the high flex knee, or I need the rotating platform knee, or I need the sports knee uh, that we read about and are advertised uh, by these different companies. Some other recent studies have shown that with all these different knees, at six months, there really is not a lot of difference. Things that we care about, how much flexion, how much bend am I getting out of the knee? How, uh, how natural does it feel? Shows that there's quite a, uh, a similarity despite all these different technologies. There are so many variables involved in a knee replacement. It really comes down to having a surgeon that can balance those ligaments, do the fine art, the artwork of a knee replacement to get that to fit in both flexion and extension uh, actually is much more important than some of the, the fancier technologies uh, that are out there.